Hello. Um, yeah, I finally came back after, um, you know, being busy. Just wanted to, um, explain my frustration regarding, and, sorry, and, yeah, yeah, just frustration. Oh, the Mario March 31st thing that's going on right now. I'm recording this on March 31st, so. I'm frustrated and disappointed with Nintendo. And if you're Nintendo, by the way, I want you to watch this still. Um, as you can see, I'm an avid Nintendo fan. Got a couple DS games. Uh, plenty of Wii stuff. And, I, and now I recently got a Wii U for Christmas. Makes it makes me pretty happy and proud to own it. Um, yeah, regarding the Mar Mario March 3 first thing, first off, I only have two products that have anything related to the event, Mario Maker for the Wii U, and, and Game & Watch, um, Mario Edition, uh, for the, I mean, not really for it, it's just the console. Yeah, um, the pro- my problem is that Nintendo thinks that discontinuing items or whatever is a good idea, and serve and discontinuing services and forcing people to buy another one. Oh yeah, I also own a Switch, by the way. So that's why that box is there. Um. Yeah, buy another game. So I'm gonna explain the list of stuff that Nintendo is gonna do. First off, for the Mario, yo. Uh, for the All Stars and Mario Game Watch, well, they're simply gonna discontinue them, which is the least of my concerns since I don't really care for both of them. This is actually even my brother's, in fact. I don't have any interest for any of them, and in terms of Mario 3, sorry, March, sorry, Mario 3D All Stars, I actually sort of hate it. Um, but but some people like it, and for them, good for them. Let them experience it. And if it's like your birthday after M March 31st, um, well, you're out of luck since, um, you're never gonna get it. Um, you're not gonna have the game, um, I don't know why Nintendo thinks this is a good idea. To be fair, the Mario Game Watch Ballers just has Mario Brothers, sorry, Super Mario Brothers 1 and 2, and some Mario Game Watch Ball, but still, for collectors... Let them have it. I don't know why Nintendo does whatever. And as for Mario 3D All-Stars, people like the game for some reason. I don't, but... Hey, to each their own. And they're going to discontinue that, too. Secondly is Mario Maker, which they're going to discontinue the online... Well, part of the online service, aka the most important. And the reason Mario Maker really exists. To share your own levels and see... Sorry, and... And see everybody else's levels. Well, technically, you could play the already made levels, but for people trying to make levels, are too bad. to make a new level. And just want to say, I'm I want to play on my Wii a lot, but I'm pretty busy with life since I'm getting older. And I want and once you know it, after I'm doing doing work, uh, yeah, this game's going to lose its online thing. And I technically my first game I own, by the way, is Mario Maker 3DS. And dude, and here in the on um, the recent announcement of the well, not announcement. I was now it's like back in November, and seeing that they're gonna discontinue the thing, I might as well just leave this or throw them in the trash and just keep the 3DS one, because really, the, if you're gonna discontinue the online portion, because I'm sharing levels, um, might as well just get a 3DS version. There's not there's not too much you're gonna lose. Apart from the amiibo and giant Mario thing. Oh yeah, I'm gonna, don't worry, I'm gonna talk about those in a second. Um, and that's from Mario 35. Uh, Tetris 99, like, game for the Nintendo Switch. That's gonna be rendered unplayable entirely. Here's my problem with those. The discontinue, I think, for collectors. I mean, it's collecting stuff, so, I mean, and you just get old console... Play those stuff, those games. But still, for collectors of like the Game and Watch and Mario 3 All Stars, or they're gonna be disappointed. And for kids who wanted those and their birthdays after March 31st, well, 
Well, I don't know what to say besides I'm sorry. And... But really, they don't, they're the least of my concern, and really should be the least of anybody's concern. Regardless of whatever you like, those uh, those stuff or not. Mario Maker, um... I don't know why Nintendo's forcing me to buy a C the Mario Maker 2. I mean, I... I just got this game for Christmas. I got the entire console for Christmas. and But yeah, I'm busy with stuff, so I barely get to play this game. And only when I'm finally able to do some stuff, well, too bad, because what's the... Uh, sorry, sorry, I mean, uh, too bad, because this game is on my thing. I think it's gonna go away. And that's only for uh, just uh, uploading the new levels and seeing... And trying to wait for see anybody else gonna upload new levels. Like, who, like, soon, and they're probably gonna discontinue this game, or, God forbid, the entire Wii U's online service thing. Where you can't even go online and see anybody else's levels. Um, and Mario Maker 2 doesn't have all the same features, and the new f features it has are, is barely, like, barely interesting. For example, the, I'm not sure if there's giant Mario in there, I don't think there is in Mario Maker 2, but the amiibo thing... No, there's not. And like unlockable costumes or something? No, they're not gonna be in there either. And that really sucks. And also, um, there's like I'm not sure. I might be wrong, but I think there's some like objects or whatever like you could place in this game that are exclusive to this and not in the sequel. And that's also a huge missed opportunity. Having amiibo support because I, you see, I have a sorry, Poochie amiibo from Yoshi's Wii World, well, Poochie and Yoshi's Wii World for the 3DS in 2017, which Mario Maker doesn't support. Yeah, they could, um, have that, have Poochie be able to be playable in Mario Maker 2. Well, the costume that is for the thing, and also, um, for a sequel, besides the story mode, which I think is pretty cool, and some cool restrictions like, uh, don't jump or walk right to this place at a certain time or whatever. Besides those stuff, which are, by the way, very cool. There's nothing else. I have to have online membership just to look at the... Uh, sorry, just to see, see you can play anybody else's online courses. I need to have a membership. That's something that Microsoft would do. And even then, I don't know if they would descend that low. Probably, but they're Microsoft. And, and I guess same thing applies to Sony. And Nintendo had free online things before. They had, um... Uh, Nintendo Wi-Fi connection and Nintendo Network work um for free, and then now, and at uh, one point the Switch Online was free, but now no, now they want money, so now you need um what you call it, uh, now you need to pay a membership for some reason, and the multiplayer. What's the point of multiplayer Mario Maker to begin with? And the online multiplayer is awful. It's terrible. And, I mean, like, I don't, I could, sure, I could just buy the sequel, but, but I still, but, like, I don't think I have enough money to just buy another one. Why can't I just keep, play the ones I have already? And also, they barely, we have anything besides some ninja or ninja, whatever they call it, events. They barely had anything. They barely updated it, unlike the Mario Maker, where they up they have, like, updated for, like, one and a half years. And, and it was cool having, like, see having updates to see, like, the cool characters, like, I get to see a Hello Kitty, Sean the Sheep, a Tesla. That was, those are cool stuff that were exclusive to the thing and not Amiibo, so of course there would never be a Sean the Sheep Amiibo, I think. So, yeah, uh, but then Mario Maker 2, they don't even have any costumes. Like, really? But, whatever, that's not as bad as Mario 35. First off, Pete, Tetris Online, sorry, Tetris has been, oh yeah, okay, before I, I forgot to say, mention thing. If Nintendo's gonna have an excuse, well, we can't keep the servers up forever. Well, that's just BS, since they... Had the D DS and Wii servers up till 2000 and, sorry, 2014, which by the way started in 2005 the servers. That's only because one of the, I believe one of the companies that were 
handling the servers went out of business. The, the Wii U and 3DS servers, which are called Nintendo Network, that thing has still been alive, I mean, it still is, for the past nine years. Ten soon. Oh, wait, it is good. It is going to be ten years. It's 2021. That thing started Mario Kart from 2011 released. Oh, hold on. My bad. I forgot why. It, I was a bit busy with this stuff. I forgot why I left off. Um. The. Mario 35. Sorry, Mario Maker again. Those online servers went up for nine years. And, st and, and I believe Microsoft servers, I might be wrong, but they have them up for like. How many years? Uh, for the Xbox 360. Ever since 2005 or 6. Depending on what game or whatever. I might be wrong though. And they're still up. So, hold oh, on. Okay, <laughs> I'm so sorry again. So yeah, there's that thing. Mario Maker. Okay, back to Mario 35. The, the game hasn't... It's been less than a year old and you're already going to discontinue the service. Tetris 99 has been up for like... What was it? Who is 2019? 2018? Two or three years still and people are still playing it. People played Mario 3D all... Sorry, uh... What's its face? Uh... Mario, yo, know, 35. And he didn't add barely add any content. Besides, he had some tournaments where he didn't have like Mario Bros. 2 or 3 style. He didn't have, um, what you call it, like new levels, unique levels. And I'm pretty sure if, if, if Nintendo, or in this case, if your Nintendo's watching it, you weren't. So, um, you know, I don't know what word to say. Um, I don't know. If you weren't so Nintendo y, uh, you have uh, updated it, have cool new stuff in it, and you know, it's been awesome. But no, even in this current state before it dies, or probably as far as, to, as I'm recording right now, probably dead already, uh, even till that point, it still was alright. But Nintendo just. I don't know. I don't know why they do it. Um. If it's for an anniversary thing, that's stupid. I don't see, you see Sega go, Yeah, yeah, I made Sonic Generations and or Sonic Mania and Forces. Well, I just I'm going to go discontinue those games afterwards. No, they don't. The reason Sonic Generations were uh, discontinued just be, on Xbox and PlayStation is because, well, one console can't play it. And the other one's because it, it was a physical game. And the digital version of Sonic Generations is still playable. They haven't deleted Sonic Mania and Forces yet, and hopefully never, so I don't know why Nintendo thinks this is a good idea. Like, I like, like, I don't know, just, just, just continue stuff because of anniversary reasons is just stupid. And out of everything, you had to get Mario Maker involved. What was the point of that one? They had Mario Kart DS servers up, up from 2005 to 2014. You had uh, servers of games up still. So well, I mean, we games up from 2006 to 2014 as well. You have free DS games and Wii U games to have servers up to this very day. So Mario Maker can't possibly be a financial or or online reason because on, your online is going to shut down, or because you're losing money. You're gaining money because you're selling like a million. Sorry, you're selling like plenty of switches. Um, and then you say, uh, so Mar this continuing Mario's online service had to be, be probably because of the anniversary thing. Which why won't you just leave it alone? What did it do? Uh, yeah, didn't you see uh, Mario's 30th anniversary? They didn't discontinue this game. I would discontinue that when the Switch came out. And they had digitally till January twenty sorry, January twentieth of twenty twenty one. Which by the way, why didn't you just keep it till no oh, March thirty first? Why did that game had it go away? And why did that thing have to be involved with your plan of killing the games to begin with? Okay, I guess I'll stop rambling. I'm really frustrated. And disappointing in Nintendo. I'm not crying. I and I barely have time to play Mario Maker, and I'm told this game's not. I I save up money to get my own Nintendo 
Switch games, and then, wham, well, I'm told I'm not gonna have it. And I can't. And, and the only good Nintendo, and one few Nintendo Online, Switch Online stuff that's good is gonna go out, so it's gonna be discontinued. I don't know why Nintendo, you just did this. I have no idea why. All I could say is, I don't know if I have hope in you still. Maybe I do, but seeing as the Zelda collection, the new Skyward Sword thing, which isn't even a collection, seems to be pretty terrible in contrast to when it seems to be like Mario 3 All Stars, which was also pretty lame. It's um, and compared to Sky, sorry, to Twilight Princess and Wind Waker HD, I think it, so. It's gonna suffer a similar fate to Mario's. So, and also before you had the excuse, well, that's what we always done. No, you haven't. You, have you seen the Sonic Mega Collection? Your own Kirby, we like Kirby Stream Collection. From seeing the newer games to. To what they're gonna do to products. I don't know if I'm gonna have any hope in them left. I still have I still have a low chance, so not all hope is lost for me, but I'm still very disappointed and frustrated with Nintendo. Or if, again, if Nintendo's watching you, I'm disappointing you. I guess I'm gonna have to go. Bye bye.